Hey guys, this is Mac4TW here. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Front Row to playback practically any video file, which is pretty comfortable because it's easier to launch videos that way instead of having to get up and use VLC to play files OS X otherwise wouldn't play. I mean, QuickTime otherwise wouldn't play. See, Front Row uses QuickTime to play files, so anything QuickTime can play, Front Row will play, and anything it can't, Front Row won't play. So, if you just have a basic install of OS X, you're going to notice that Front Row and QuickTime won't play DivX encoded files, XVID, MKVs. Most of these files people use to download movies on, or even just compress movies unless you want to use Apple's H2, well, not Apple's, but unless you want to use H264, which Apple supports. You're out of luck. And you'd ha also have to use a uh, container Apple supports, which it doesn't support MKV, which is pretty popular nowadays because in MKV you can have different audio tracks, different subtitle tracks. It's just, it's a better container than AVI. So, anyway, first of all, we're going to get Parian, which allows you to play back pretty much anything. So, let's search for Parian here. And sorry, my connection is a little slow. I'm uploading something to YouTube. Anyway, Parian.org, right there. Let's load that up. Right here. You download that, install it. That'll work for practically anything. So, now let's say you still have a couple difficult XVID or DivX files that just don't want to play for some reason. They should play with Parian, but they're just being annoying. So we're going to look for DivX for OS X and just download that codec. Now, okay, that says for Windows. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Mac. Okay. So DivX costs money if you want to encode to it. But for our purposes, we just want to decode. So the free download will do just fine. You download that, also install it. It'll install in a quick time. We're set. And the last one would be Windows Media Files. Now, you want to play Windows Media Video Files. Unless they're DRM'd, you can do it with this. It's called Flip for Mac. Also, Flip for Mac. Just search for it. Here we go. Wait, actually, here we go. From Microsoft. Once again, here you are. Download Flip for Mac free, and it'll install. Well, install it. Once it installs, you're all set. Once you have those files installed, I didn't install them because I already have all of them installed, but I have an MKV file right here that we're going to try to play with front row. Usually this wouldn't work. Let's copy to our movies folder and see what happens. All right, I'm going to launch front row now. Wait, wrong button combination there. was it? There we go. Don't really know which one of the accommodations I hit did it, but there we go. Yeah. Movies. Movies folder. Okay, Babylon AD. Nice little film I, I, I pulled out of a Blu-ray. There we go, it's fine. It's actually kind of laggy because I'm recording video on YouTube right now. But place. Now, something you might notice is MKV files may lag a little while they load because QuickTime has to load up the entire MKV file. Let me show you what I mean before it can play it smoothly. So it's not a problem. You just might have to wait one or two minutes while it loads up. Wait, I don't want to use VLC. I want to use QuickTime. Sorry about that. Like I said, I'm encoding stuff, so it's kind of laggy right now. All right, quick time player. Okay. Now, as you can see here, let me zoom in for you guys. There. This here is the location it's at, and this is as it's caching the MKV movie. You got to wait for this to reach the end before it'll play back smoothly. So you just gotta wait one or two minutes while it loads up and then it will play back smoothly in front row. Faster computers won't really have a problem unless you're doing something like I'm doing which is encoding video or anything else processor intensive but otherwise the second you load it up it'll just play back smoothly no problem. If your computer is a little too slow for that you might have to wait and then it'll play back fine. I'll post a video soon on another alternative to use instead of front row if your computer is a little too slow for that because there are much more 
effective ways of decoding, I guess, without stressing your computer as much. But if your computer's fast enough, I guess I would just stick with front row. As long as you can handle it, it looks better and it's easier to use than anything else out there. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it then.